The combined actions of civil society, government, development institutions and the United Nations funds for population activities over the past 50 years have unlocked opportunities and possibilities for women, men, boys and girls across the globe. UNAIDS country director David Brigier says the theme unfinished business, the pursuit of rights and choices for all is central to the global agenda of the sustainable development goal and overall United Nations assistance to PNG. Papua New Guinea, as a member state of the United Nations and a devoted advocate of the International Conference of Population and Development, has integrated population and development as a high priority development goal of the government. In commemorating the state of the World Population Day 2019, we are reminded that the global population has surpassed 7.5 billion people and is projected to reach 8.5 billion by 2030 which is the same year that we would be finishing with the Sustainable Development Goals. Here in Papua New Guinea, the population stood at 7.3 million, according to the 2011 census. But with a growth rate, growth rate of 3.5%, it's already passed 8 million. Briggs says this calls for greater reflection on the many ways in which population dynamics matter to the planet's future and especially for Papua New Guinea. The Department of National Planning and Monitoring, Acting Secretary, Connie Samuel says it was fitting to give the government's perspective on demographic issues in the overall context of the Medium-Term Development Plan 3. Samuel says in the past five years, the government has made significant investment in the health and education sector to address social issues. The government invested about 1.5 billion, this is a combined or aggregate investment that went into health and education sector in the last five years and further 4.7 billion in terms of the infrastructure and also law and other sectors and this demonstrates government's commitment over the years directly and indirectly to try and address many of the issues that we, we are facing. In the medium-term development plan, the government's intention is to promote an inclusive and sustainable economic growth path for Papua New Guinea. Michelle Steven, National MTV News.